I'm Tracy and I love to upcycle and take thrifted items and turn them into one-of-a-kind pieces, accessories, purses, you name it. And this is by request. I had a while back somebody asked me, I have a favorite concert t-shirt and I want to add it to a jacket. Can you show me how? Well, this is a flannel shirt, but it's the same exact process. So this is a bleached flannel shirt, so I'll show you how to do that. And we didn't just add the concert tee, we added a fun animal print border. And I'm gonna show you how, let's get going. Okay, there are lots of ways to bleach. I hear a train in the background, <laughs> I'm outside. Okay, I just use pure bleach. And this is one of my go-to ways, because I have a lot of control on where the bleach goes. I just pour some into a bowl and I have my rubber gloves on and I just simply just kind of drizzle it. Now this is low splash bleach so it's a little thicker so we'll see how that works. And I am just going to splash it all over the flannel. Now sometimes they don't bleach so let's cross our fingers and hope this one does then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the back and then when it's processed hopefully it will discolor the flannel I will just rinse it like crazy I don't leave it sit on too long because I don't want it to deteriorate the fabric but I'll just rinse it like crazy Put it in the washer on a regular cycle, put it in the dryer, and then we're ready to go. While the flannel is being laundered, I'm going to get started on the applique we're putting on the back. And I'm using this thrifted animal print shirt and this concert tee that I got at Walmart. And at my Walmart in the men's section, there's a big rounder just full of t-shirts and I think they're like $7.96 or something. So that's a really good price. So we're going to get these prepped. So basically I want to cut out two big rectangles. The animal print will be a larger rectangle and then the graphics here will be a smaller rectangle and then we'll set that one on this. I'm going to start with the animal print shirt because that is a rectangle that will be the largest. And I am just cutting it open to make it easier to work with. I'm just cutting down the sides into the armpit and across the arm. That way I don't have to fight with two sides of fabric. Oh, I might cut this arm off so that it lays smoothly as well. And I'll save all those pieces. I use animal print on a lot of different things, purses, things like that. So the rest that I cut off will not go to waste. But now we have a nice flat front piece and I made a pattern that is 18 inches tall and 15 inches across. Now this is pretty big and you may not want to go quite as big if you don't want to. You just work, do whatever works for you. Now I am going to trace around it with a marker. You can use chalk or something more water soluble if you like. So I'll finish tracing that and then I will cut it out. Okay, now I have my animal print all cut out. I'll set that aside for now. And I will go to my concert tee. And you don't have to have a concert tee. You can have anything you want on your t-shirt. You could have a cat, some cool saying or phrase. All right. So now on this one, I cut it open and laid it out like I did the other one. I am using this size pattern. It is 14 inches tall and 11 inches across. And this is just craft paper, newspaper, wrapping paper, works great for patterns as well. Now this one I folded in half because I want to center this a little more on my graphic here. So when I fold it in half, I can set it down in the center and kind of eyeball 
where the center is and when I feel like I have it where I want it, I'll just open that up, lay it out. On this black, I can use a piece of chalk that'll show up nicely. And I'm just going to trace around that. Okay, I've finished tracing that and then I'll just simply cut it out. Okay, I've finished cutting this out. And now we are ready to attach these to the flannel. Okay, so my flannel's all washed and dried and bleached. And I am going, the first thing I did, there's a little straight pin in here. You can't see it, but I found the middle by finding the tag on the inside. And that's always in the middle. And I just marked with a straight pin where that the middle of that tag is that makes life a whole lot easier so i'm just going to take the animal print that we cut out and i'm going to center it on here now there's a seam some flannels have it and some don't but this one has a seam right across here i'm going just underneath that seam and putting my animal print in the center and i am just going to take some pins and just pin it down really good so that it doesn't shift around when I'm sewing. And I'll start by pinning all four corners. And then I'll just fill in from there. I'll probably pin every couple of inches on this. Okay, now I have that all pinned on. I'm at my sewing machine. And I'm just going to remove that front plate on my sewing machine and slide this in pretty much anywhere. It doesn't matter. And I am going to use a black zigzag stitch, the largest zigzag stitch that I have. And you can use whatever color you want. You can coordinate with one of the colors in the flannel, but I'm just going to use black. And I will just go forward, go backward, lock it in, and I will just stitch all the way around. Okay, so now I want to do the piece from the concert t-shirt, and I'm just going to lay that on there and center it on the animal print. And you can measure this if you want to make sure the borders are exactly even, but something like this, I very typically will just eyeball. Okay, and I'll do the same here. I will pin all four corners and then I'll fill it in with pins, go to my machine and go stay close to the edge using a zigzag stitch. But this time I think I'm going to use gold this kind of yellowy gold, just because I think it would look cute on the black border and tie in with the flannel shirt. Okay, here is all finished. The cowboy boots, just perfect for fall. Thank you so much for watching.